So um, you've had some experience with this, but what do you tell a team coming back from the World Series about business? Well, these are things we'll talk about uh, coming up when the team gets here uh, on the 19th. Uh, yeah, you're always thinking of you know things that uh, you can tell them. So some of them have experience. You know, Corey Seager, for example, uh, Nate, those guys. Uh, you know, they they've been through it. You always like to be in a situation. Believe me, this is. Uh, you know, it's, it's it's tough to win a World Series, just like win a Super Bowl. It's even tougher to do it back to back. You get that, but we just saw it happen. So, you know, hey, we're going to keep doing what we've been doing. And, and that's, you know, that's probably the most important thing I I, I, I can tell these st the staff right now. They did such a great job of setting the tone last spring, and uh, that's, that's what we want to do again. So what do you think you, your relationship is with the club now going into year two? The first year to try to figure you out and yeah. working with them and now they know. Well, it, you know why that's funny? I, I, you said and you asked that because I told the staff that. I said, you know, the difference this year is that unknown factors out. And, you know, they know me. I know them just like the players, you know, have, have a better idea what he, what we're all about. And uh, so, sure, that probably makes things a little bit easier uh, on both sides. Uh, uh, you know, they're more comfortable, just like I'm going to be more comfortable with everybody. Coach, time can give you perspective on things. When you look back now, a few months later, at what happened last October and last season, uh, is, is there anything that stands out differently than it did maybe at the time and that you appreciate more now, given that time? You know what? I've gotten even a deeper appreciation of what these guys did. Uh, it's just an incredible year with a lot of ups and downs. I mean, you know, it took some pretty big hits uh, on the injury side with some tough losses, but, uh, you know, how these guys just focused forward the whole time. But what they did uh, at the end, uh, you know, throughout the postseason, it, it was it, it just amazing. Uh, uh, you know, they just were relentless and, and you know, finding, you know, just finding a way to get it done. And uh, that's, they didn't care how it got done, just that it got done, and that's that's what I really appreciated from them. Brooks, last year the bullpen was venture sometimes here. Um, the work you put in for the offseason, you guys to make the changes. How are you comfortable are you as you get ready to start? Yeah, well, I'm, we have some spots open. Uh, we have some, you know, some good candidates for those spots, some, uh, uh, both on roster and non-roster. Non uh, but it was uh, – it, it was – it was a challenge last year, you know, with the bullpen. And really, you look at the guys who end up being our late inning high leverage guys. Uh, they came on at the right time, and that's what it's about. It's you know, it's it's uh, getting hot, uh, you know, at the end and at the right time, as, as I just said. And, and these guys did, but you know, Leclerc and Spores, I'm talking about, you know, both were having their struggles early and. So then, you know, you're getting the Robertson and Yates, you know, with their experience, uh, they, they're going to make our bullpen so much better and uh, just give us, you know, some more high leverage guys and uh, they can help each other out. So I think we're in a better situation at this time uh, uh, than we were last year. Is the expectation that Robertson will get the ninth inning to begin or is it going to be a mix of guys? Yeah, it's going to be you know, a mix. Uh, you know, I don't want to, you know, get back to the corner on, on rolls right now. Uh, I think it's a little early for uh, for that. I haven't had a chance to talk to him, uh, Robertson, but I've heard his comments. He just wants to help get big outs when needed, and uh, so you know that's what worked for us last year. It's a very selfless group that uh, you know they filled out any role necessary. Uh, you know, sorry. Uh, talking about our starters, I think four of them were pitching the pen. So you know that's what it takes, and uh, and the bullpen was the same way. You know, from Chappie to Smitty to, to Spores and uh, Leclerc. You know, they were in different roles, so nobody got caught into that. And like I said, they didn't. 
care how small the role was. They just cared about finding a way to win the World Series. What's, what is your thought on the difference in where your rotation depth is right now versus where it was when you thought you were coming to camp last year? Um, I, I'll say this. Uh, you know, we we got some guys on the men. We know it. So that's going to make you a little thin. Uh, so we're, that's why it's important that we look at our uh, uh, our options that uh, are in camp here, and you know that's, these are things we're discussing as we speak. We did yesterday uh, for quite a while, and uh, so until we get those guys back, uh, you know we got to you know find a way to keep these guys healthy and uh, and keep the depth. And, yeah. But we do have some guys here that we think uh, will give us that depth. So you've got five starters. Do we? Yeah. yeah. They're, setting, they're setting stone. No, they're not setting okay. stone, no. Uh, what, what, those discussions you had yesterday, can you give us some insight in like what is being discussed about the possible rotation and options? Well, I think you look at last year, uh, we had some starters uh, that were in the bullpen. You know, is that an option? Sure. Uh, um, but. Uh, I think you look at the guys coming in here, you know, some guys that have some starting experience. I'm not going to mention names because I'll leave somebody out, but, uh, you know, they're going to give us some, some options too uh, as far as uh, giving us depth, um, you know, where they fit, you know, if they are in the rotation, any changes we make uh, uh, as far as, a possible starter going to the bullpen. We saw how well that worked. Uh, um, I mean, September, it's 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 a tough schedule. We got 17 consecutive games there. So, you know, we're probably going to need a, a sixth starter in there to give those guys a break too and, uh, and have some multiple inning guys in that bullpen because you're not going to have them that stretched out. And, you know, you, you talk about, well, you've played in November, you want to slow play guys, you know, you, well, you got to have them ready, and uh, you know you got to have those innings. And you know if, if you know if they're not all, most of them come from your starter. Well, you better have guys in the bullpen that can give you multiple innings. So these are things we're talking about.